ओम शांति ओम शांति वेलकम टू द अव्यक्ति परिवार टुडे इज डे ट्वेंटी सिक्स ग्रेटनेस ऑफ प्योरिटी प्योरिटी मीन्स बिलोंगिंग टू ओनली वन टुडे इज अव्यक्त सिग्नल्स आर प्योरिटी इज बिलोंगिंग टू वन द रॉयल्टी ऑफ प्योरिटी मीन्स टू बिलोंग द वन एंड नन अदर इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम कंप्लीटली प्योर इन दिस ब्राह्मण बर्ड मेक द लेसन ऑफ बिलोंगिंग टू वन वेरी फॉर्म लेट देर बी गुड विशेज एंड प्योर फीलिंग्स इन योर एटीट्यूड विद योर विजन सी एवरी वन इन देयर सोल कॉन्शियसनेस form of their angelic form through your actions give happiness to each soul and receive happiness from each one even if someone cause you sorrow or insults you you just be a good be a god of goodness of tolerance so today we'll listen to dadi's speciality so dadi's speciality was one support one strength dadi's intellect was never ek bharose ke aadhar par yagya ka itna bada vistar kiya om shanti bhavan se lekar gyan sarovar shanti van manmohini van aadi ka jo vistar hum sab dekh rahe hain यह उनके दृढ़ संकल्प एक बल एक भरोसे का प्रत्यक्ष प्रमाण है वे संपूर्ण निश्चय बुद्धि निश्चिंत स्थिति में रहती सदा यही ध्यान रहता कि करण ग्रावन हार बाबा है हम निमित्त है उनके बोल व वचन में कभी मैपन नहीं आया अभी हम दीदी से सुनेंगे so now we will be listening to mohini didi ओम शांति ओम शांति पवित्रता की महानता में ग्रेटनेस ऑफ प्योरिटी इन दैट बिलोंगिंग टू वन तो दादी जी उन उस जीवन का एक उदाहरण सो आवर दादी जी was such an example of that kind of life so human beings their intellect goes into four kind of things so the first one is they are more attracted to human beings apni jeevan aise honi chahiye but our life should be this should be the way that our intellect किसी का भी प्रभाव न हो शुड नॉट बी इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय एनी वन आपकी बुद्धि पर किसी का भी प्रभाव न हो सो नो इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन द इंटेलेक्ट फ्रॉम एनी वन और एनी वेयर राय सबसे लेनी होती है वी कैन गेट एडवाइस फ्रॉम मेनी पीपल हाउ एवर वाइल परफॉर्मिंग द एक्शन वी शुड ओनली फॉलो श्रीमत कितनी भी अच्छी कोई राय हो हाउ एवर इफ समवन इज गिविंग यू सम एडवाइस नो मैटर हाउ गुड द एडवाइस इज जस्ट डिसर्न इफ दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन श्रीमत सो बिलोंगिंग टू वन सो द फर्स्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ दोज हु बिलोंग टू ओनली वन इज दैट दे फॉलो श्रीमत एक्यूरेटली एट एवरी स्टेप because when we follow the shrimat at every step then what happens that if there is any account old account so in that our time our thoughts our energy nothing will go into waste 
I have seen this many a times that if somebody is not accurately following Srimad, then some bondage will pull them. So then they will not be able to settle the accounts. Instead, they create more. And what happened? The second thing is that we are more attracted towards the facilities or the things. So whatever I have, I am trustee of that. And Baba has given all of us, like in, in the beginning of the Yagya, what happened, like Dadi Janki uh, shares many a time that um, in the beginning, uh, they used to get eight dresses. And then when uh, they started getting old, then they uh, used to add two more. So for 12 years, she never got new dresses for herself. She used to wear those only eight dresses that she got in the beginning. So if we use our facilities in a worthwhile way, so it's easy to maintain it as well. So Dadi's uh, cupboard has all the things that what all she used to get from the Yagya. And third thing where the intellect goes is the situation. Why this happened? Why this not happened? And fourth is what we just heard is that the souls, no matter what they are thinking about us or saying about us, we should not take sorrow out of that. We should not think or we should not have based thoughts about that because everyone has their own sanskars. So based on their sanskars or their habits, they keep, they think, they behave. So why should we take sorrow out of that? So belonging to one means our intellect should be pulled only towards one. And this is very definite that, like Dadi Prakashmani, for instance, she has no pull towards the Lokik family. So, uh, although she she had like six sisters, parents, but Dadi has no pull of towards the Lokik family. But at in a Lokik family as well, she used to love everybody, but no attachment or no special attraction towards anybody in a Lokik family as well. Some used to ask Dadi, Dadi, those who serve you, uh, uh, do you love them? Then Dadi used to answer, yes, I love them, but this is not that they are giving me any power. So the slogan that Dadi had was one strength, one support. Because power is from where we are receiving all the powers from the one almighty. So we are not, we should not depend on anyone else. We should cooperate, everybody. Cooperation is different, but dependency should not be there. So our effort should be to keep this aim that belonging to one is one thing, but because today is Dadi's day, so Dadi has a lot of zeal and enthusiasm for everything, but to bring zeal and enthusiasm in other people was Dadi's speciality. And for that, we need the intellect, which is unlimited. So if someone has some enthusiasm in something, so we should let them do that. So to increase the zeal and enthusiasm in others, that was Dadi's speciality. So we all are here today to offer bhog uh, for Dadi. And today is also Thursday. So in India, everything has happened already. That was really good. So they have decorated the Prakash, uh, the uh, Dadi's memorial. 
and um, uh, they've decorated it so beautifully. They made such good bog of 75 dishes. So today also we will offer bog um, for Dadi. So let's all go to the uh, subtle reason today and uh, let's see what Dadi's message is for today. Om Shanti. Pavitrata, Ekvrata, Purity, purity belonging to one. The royalty of purity means to belong to only one and none other. In order to become completely pure in this Brahmin birth, make the lesson of belonging to one very firm. Let there be good wishes and pure feelings in your attitude. With your vision, see everyone in their soul conscious form and their angelic form. Their, through your actions, give happiness to each soul and receive happiness from each one. Even if someone causes you sorrow or insults you, you just be a god or goddess of tolerance. Om Shanti. <laughs> 